When we came to Jacksonville in October, we were able to eat at the amazing Leo's Pizza. Uh, we've been here actually 42 years, and we came in 78, and uh, just a little tiny little place, little by little we, we expanded. And we're on the third generation, my father, and then us, now my children, and uh, my grandbaby's still not old enough to do this. But. but when we came back for Christmas, we were actually able to get in the kitchen and make some pizza, y'all. The first step was to suit up and start practicing with the fake dough. This was a lot harder than it looked. Okay, ready, go. Yeah, see, that's it. Really good, well Before we knew it, it was time for the real deal homemade pizza dough, which was another level of stressful. Neither of us have ever tossed dough before, so we were true newbies. So we have to thank owner Antonia and her daughter Philippa for helping us not completely drop and ruin the dough. Philippa then used the sheeter to thin out the dough and cut the appropriate sizes for our pizzas. Then it was time for action. Joni B was making a sausage and mushroom and I was working on a pepperoni. I'm gonna show you how I this one. And I gotta go around. Don't press, don't press hard, lightly. And you can get it to go wherever you want to go. Okay. But you want to leave a little bit of crust. Okay. Because otherwise the pizza sticks to the, it'll stick, you okay. know? So here you go. Everything at Leo's is homemade. The dough, the sauce, it all comes from family recipes, and you can taste that history and love in every bite. We were so excited to be in there making the pizza amidst the organized chaos of the kitchen. It was moving like a well-oiled machine. So you're gonna get this here. And you're just gonna put on your pepperoni again. Gotcha. Start on the outside and work your way in. Okay. your money's worth. Okay. We're gonna go like this. Uh -huh. There you 
go. So it'll be more like that. Okay. Go ahead and keep going. Okay. You want to grab some and start on the edges. Before you throw it in the oven, these cardboards are actually semi new, but you always want to check where does it fall. Because if I were to you want to put your thumb wherever it bends so then you can put it in the, the oven. If I were to grab it like this oh. and I try to put it in the oven, it's all the toppings are going to go flying on too. Okay. Sir. Once we added all the toppings, it was time to put it in the very scary and very hot oven. You're just going to kind of set it in here. Don't be scared, okay? Of course, you're just going to hold it there, kind of shake the way it gets up, and then you just put it in. Okay. Uh, yeah. Want me to hold the camera for you guys? You can. Okay. Oh, Ready? Boy. Oh my gosh. One at a time. Okay. You can go first. There you go. Okay. And I'll move this one over. Okay. Here we go. Set it there. Shake. Good job, ladies. You did it. That was fun. That's awesome. <laughs> this is Mrs. X. Hi! I have to tell them you're bloggers. I'm good. Now it's just saying. It's called Trippin' Southern Style. Right. Trippin' Southern Style. Yes, ma'am. And I'm Joni. Hi, Joni. And I'm Jenny. And you can look us up on anything you hear pop up. Yes, you are. Here, we'll write it down. Trippin' Southern Style. Yeah! Okay, we're good. And Philly's filming everything. We're getting there. They just made it into the oven. So. Okay. So guys, can I interview you? If you want to. What did you think about making your first pizza here? It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot of hard work, but it was a lot of fun. There you go. And I want to say, I love how you said, what's going to give you your money's worth. So you just made sure that you know, everybody's going to have a piece of pepperoni. So that's yes. Great. Yes, it's a lot different. A lot of people will start putting the cheese or something on and it's like a little few pieces like you guys did originally. But then you had to think, okay. If someone's paying this amount of money for this kind of pizza, and then you get it, like some people when they first start, they'll put five pieces of pepperoni on a large. And I'm like, okay, so if you got this pizza with five pieces of pepperoni, what would you think, you know? Leo's actually employs locals from Jacksonville, and many of them have been with the company for years and years. It's a family owned business with family values, and we absolutely love that. It's the kind of place that families have been coming to for years, and will continue for years to come, generations after generations. When it was time to pull the pizza out of the oven, Philippa grabbed the paddle and got our pizzas safely to their boxes. Then it was time to cut them. Okay, you wanna make sure you're cutting it hard enough to make sure that you're cutting it through the crust. And when you go kinda hit it like that, when you start you go like this, boom, and then go down. And put some Put some oh. weight on your on your hand. Yeah, yeah there you go. And then you're gonna, gonna start from here and go across. It doesn't matter as long as it looks good, right? <laughs> there you go. And then you're gonna go here across. Perfect. And then we'll do one more from there to here. That's Teresa. Can I get a calamari? Can I order breadstick? And you can hold on to the box to give you some power here. And just make sure you're pushing hard enough on it. Yep. Okay. Then you're going to go from here to here. should both hold their pizzas. Okay. Good. Yeah. Where you want to put I got Grab it. your yeah. pizza and just show your pizza, ladies. There you Get go. I love it. And then close it and you can show the Leo's box. Now you're going to tuck in those sides. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Uh -huh. It says Leo's Pizza Injection. Don't tell them too. We took these yummy pizzas back to Blessings on State to enjoy with owners Gwen, Glenn, and Casey. They were absolutely delicious, which is just a testament to Leo's incredible homemade recipes. 
And we could not leave without an order of their fantastic cannolis, y'all. Thank you to Leo's for letting us come in and make pizzas with you. It was an experience we will never forget. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all. Oh, and by the way, did you know that we just launched our own app called Positive Note Network? It's free to download on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, and for your smartphones with iOS and Android. And it contains all this awesome content we put out on YouTube. So if you want to see more of this, go and download our app.